Spears Computer World here with the Designer Pro X11 review. And after the break, we'll show you what you can get into. Stay locked in with Spears Computer World. Spears Computer World here back with the Zara Designer Pro X11. Now normally when you open up your software for this product, you'll be greeted by a lot of resources that are aimed to help you to uh, get started with Zara. Some great tutorials, some great resources to help you maximize on this software so that you can produce quality material. And so what I'm going to show you first here on this review, one thing that I do like is a design gallery. Most times I lack inspiration, things that I need to get started. So Zara has a lot of things that will get you started, such as uh, anything you need for any introductions, uh, some of the illustrations that are just phenomenal that uh, users have submitted uh, into Zara to use. And so as you can see, this was this is a example of what you can do in Zara. Now, I will admit, I am not up to par or up to speed to be able to do this type of thing here. But as you can see, whoever created uh, this image, you're able to go in and take out different layers, you know, from this uh, oil likeish painting the different layers that the user uh, designed with and so as you can see there's a lot of detail that the user used to get this and so I'm always impressed uh, by that so those are some things for you, those of you who are using Adobe Illustrator Adobe Photoshop or you'll be able to do uh, different things in this uh, edition of Zara Designer Pro X11 and previous versions as well so one thing that I like about these uh, Zara Designer Pro X11 is it is an all-in-one uh, solution. In other words, you are able to design websites, you're able to do desktop publishing, you're able to edit photos, you're able to do a lot of things, you're able to do um, printing material, things that you need to take your business to the next level, such as business cards, all of these things that you're able to do. And so if you're looking for an all-in-one solution to cut costs instead of having to buy all of the uh, Zara products or having to subscribe to Adobe because with Adobe you have to have a subscription plan with the Zara Designer Pro X11 there's a fee of one time fee of $300 which to me is not bad given that if you if you do your research on amazon.com you'll find that uh, most of Adobe's uh, photo shoot uh, suits and whatnot their software will cost uh, $300 or more but Zara gives you the ability to put all of those things into one product that allows you to get more out of your uh, money and you'll definitely see the return on your investment by investing in this software to use for your desktop publishing needs for your website design needs etc whatever it is that you need to do and as you can see here in the design gallery you have a lot to uh, choose from um, you're able to do greeting cards and invitations you can do all of that from here and the simple thing about it is all these things are you're able to uh, have free will if you will so I'm gonna uh, just go in here and pick a theme because sometimes you know, if you're able to see what you can do um, with you know what you see is what you get type um, web design editors then you'll be more apt to make a decision on whether or not this is the right choice for you and I've been using Zara products for quite some time now Some of the things that people may ask me, okay, well, can this software, can it, does it do content management systems? Well, yes and no, it's not WordPress, but uh, with the online uh, design editor that allows you or a client to be able to go in and um, make uh, image changes or text changes, you'll be able to do those things. You'll be able to um, sign into the uh, Zara online designer here, which I've shown in some of my previous videos. And so, uh, check out our blog and you'll be able to see and read up on uh, what the Zara Online Designer uh, can do. And so this is a standard uh, Zara template that allows you to, um, let's see, let's get our pointer, allows you to kind of drag, you know, different components across the screen. It gives you full control on your design. For those of you who are not coders, but those of you who are more visual, this is the solution for you. You're able to do um, a lot more things. One thing I like are the uh, the widgets or the page elements. 
you have different button, buttons and navigation tools and since we live in a social media uh, type um, society now you have your social networking gadgets uh, or widgets that you're able to put on your website you have uh, different forms so people can get in contact with you and then for those of you who are business oriented you will be delighted to find that you have an e-commerce uh, solution with Amazon Associates with uh, Wazala with uh, PayPal with Equit so you're able to do a lot of things um, with this software and so I know that this is not a uh, drill okay how do you do this but a more so review on how we like this software and the things that you can do one thing I'll do uh, just to kind of show you how uh, powerful the software is and what it can do I'll import a picture this is one of my favorite uh, this is one of my favorites features because I've struggled in times past with Photoshop trying to take you know something or someone out of a you know the background out of an image and so what you want to do is you want to use your masking tool and I want to I want to preserve this guy here so I'm gonna get a little I probably could zoom in more let's go about a hundred percent I'm gonna get as close as I can to preserve this guy because I want to be able to put him in another background. And as I uh, work on the masking here, I want to point out that you're able to also take things out of the background. Like if there was a pole here, uh, this software allows you to uh, take that image out as if it wasn't there. That's pretty cool. And we'll kind of show you in another video some of the things on some how-tos because I know people want to know, how do I do this? How do I do that? And we'll focus on that. But this review is just kind of giving you kind of the basics on what you can expect from this software, whether it fits your needs. Um, it's not, if you're a novice and you're like, well, I'm not really good at graphics, this will uh, help you to look like you know what you're doing. And so it's helped me a lot as a web designer. Um, although I use uh, this product to do some of my, my static. Uh, websites but now I'll be using for some of my clients who want to update their information this is a viable uh, alternative to WordPress where some people may not want to get into all of the things into WordPress uh, this is a great solution that we will be utilizing at Spears Computer Work for some of our clients so after you've done that you hit the erase button then as you can see I still have a few things that I need to fine tune Just kind of get some things out of here but for the most part as you can see without much effort I was able to take the majority of the background out without having to uh, do a lot of work and most times in this age that's what we want we want to be able to do what it is that we need to do and then uh, move on to something else now if you are interested in this product go to Zara.com under products uh, check this out and you can try before you buy uh, it'll give you a 30-day trial where you can go in and actually give this software a go so I would recommend that you go ahead and do that this software is your all-in-one solution to uh, anything related to photo editing advanced photo editing logo design uh, your desktop publishing needs your web design needs so give this uh, product a spin I love it I give this product the highest um, honors I love it and I'm not just saying that just to be saying it because I will let you know if a product isn't worth your coins or your money. So if you get a chance, go to Zara Designer Pro, um, go to Zara.com, excuse me, and then go and download the free trial for Zara Designer Pro X11. And if you have any issues or problems, go to SpearsComputerWorld.com. You'll find this blog uh, entry for this product under our reviews leave a comment and if you have any questions leave a comment on the blog or on the bottom of this YouTube video this is Spears Computer World signing out